Danny Flixon here for seconds out with unbeaten super middleweight John Doxy. John, how you doing? Yeah, I'm all good. Just finished the training session and uh, yeah, I'm all good. You obviously um, went to 6 0 in your last fight at the start of the month um, against Daryl Sharp. A journeyman, but an underrated one, capable of springing the upset on occasion. How did you weigh up your performance? Yeah, it was a good performance. Obviously, I wanted the, uh, the KO, but it uh, never come. But listen, I got a good uh, four rounds in there, and um, now I can up to six rounds. Um, I felt like I boxed really well out through the contest. So, uh, yeah, uh, I done good. He was, he was durable anyway. We knew that. That's what we got. We brought him in. We didn't want somebody I could knock over in, in a round or two. I wanted to get the rounds in. That's what I got a good, good four rounds in. And you've had six four-rounders now. You've obviously got great amateur pedigree. Do you see yourself moving up now to six or eight rounds? Are you ready to be kind of accelerated a little bit? Yeah, well, definitely. I think I'm ready for six or eight rounds now. Um, it's up to my team, Tony, and that there. He's the main man, obviously. So, um, yeah, but I'm, I'm ready to move up to six and eight rounds whenever. When, and, and I'm ready to move up to level as well, move for a, fight for a title or something. But um, it's up to, I think I'm ready now, but it's up to them. What sort of titles would you be aiming for? I guess, you know, what, what are you eligible for? Are you eligible for the English? Because obviously you represented Scotland. Um, what area are you under as well? So is it Southern or...? I, I don't know. I, I'll, I'll fight for any title. What, any title I can put my hands on, um, I can fight. Um, I'm just... Uh, I think I'm British title level now, but obviously these have got, got to wait timing out there. But I'll fight for any title, whatever title I can fight for, basically. But I think I'll get a British title next shot next year. Uh, maybe beginning of next year or the end of next year. But whenever, I think I'm ready now, but... Uh, when the timing's right, it'll be right. Who do you think are the best fighters domestically at your weight right now? Um, it's actually getting mixed up. There's that Zach Parker one, and there was uh, he's vacated the British title. I, I, he was the one that stood out to me. Um, obviously, there's that one from Frank Warren's uh, Jimmy's called. Uh, I forgot his name. He's got the Commonwealth title. Um, Zach Chelly. Uh, Zach Chelly as well. Um, Cody Davis, obviously. It's Cody Davis. But Cody Davis has never made a suit of middle yet. He's boxed at light heavyweight for the uh, a British title. I mean, yeah, and Chelly's light heavyweight as well. Against Chelly, so I don't know who's going to beat my weight. Do you know I mean, I think they're all running scared to tell you the truth. You said you you see yourself early next year, perhaps fighting for the British title. Do you see yourself being fast tracked even from there going forward from that? Yeah, well, hopefully. I want I want big fights. I want to be in them 50 50 fights like. Ted's been a John Ryder. It's just it makes you train and push yourself that bit more when you know you're in for a 50 50 fight and you know you've got to push yourself. But um, when the time is right, Tony will tell me when the time is right and then uh, I'll step up and um, I'll show my level. How did you end up in this gym originally? What what kind of what was the connection that brought you here? It was uh, I was speaking to Tony and that over uh, WhatsApp. He texted me and obviously he's been following me in my, my my amateur career and I was over in America and he texted me. He said, Oh, when you come up from America, I had a few days off home from GB. I was over in GB and he said, oh, why you come down? And I come down uh, two days after America, my time was all off and that there, um, the time difference and that. But um, yeah, I come down sparring and they went from there. Tony liked me and he said, oh yeah, when you want to turn pro, just uh, go to the Commonwealth Games first and see what you do. And I was lucky enough, I got a bronze, but um, yeah, but the weight was an issue there. So um, yeah, it was a good experience over there as well. What, what were you doing out in America? Was it just a holiday? Were you sparring and stuff? What were you doing? It was a training camp with uh, Team GB. It was so um, I was obviously on Team GB, pulling the squad. So um, yeah, it was uh, a very good training camp over there, sparring, uh, sparring the Americans, and um, it's a different experience. Do you know what I mean? And obviously, I got a call saying do you want to come down for sparring that day and train. And I come down here for the weekend, and Tony liked me, and then he said, when you want to turn pro, just get in touch. And you mentioned earlier about you wanting to be in 50-50 fights like some of your gym mates. How much of an inspiration is it for you to be training alongside the likes of John Ryder, Ted Cheeseman, obviously uh, Joe Cordina as well? What's it like? Has it, has it brought you on? Well, yeah, definitely. It's, we've got the, the likes of Martin J. Ward and Jim. We've got Joe Cordina, we've got Ricky Burns. But it just it tells you itself what Tony's like. Tony's one of the best trainers in Britain, maybe around the world. Do you know what I mean? And, and I'm not just bragging because he's my own trainer. I just know I'm in good hands with Tony, and Tony will take me to the top. And just before we let you go, what's the kind of overall ambition? Everyone wants to win a world title, of course, but is there like a specific venue you want to fight in, a specific title you want to win? What, what, what is it you want? I would like to win a world title in uh, Scotland, to bring about Scotland, win a world title in Scotland, but um, obviously America is uh, the main, main, main goal for a world title, but um, yeah, Scotland for a world title, I would, I would like to be back there, yeah. So a world title, I'll definitely win a world title uh, with Thunder. The games of Tony. Brilliant. Well, we really appreciate your time. You know, you've stayed behind a little bit to, to speak to us, so we appreciate it. No problem.